A gym membership with two personal training sessions costs $125, while gym membership with five personal training sessions costs $260. What is the cost per training session, basically? All right, so what I want to do is I want to take this piece by piece, okay? So whenever the question becomes kind of hard, I mean, there's no real variables in here, but we might have to use a variable. Um, what I'd like to do is try to take each clause at a time. All right, so we'll take this first part and try to make a math expression out of it. So it says a gym membership with two personal training sessions costs $125. Okay, so we can say there that the gym membership, I'm going to label that GM, that the gym membership, okay, plus then two personal training sessions, two training, two training sessions, will equal, right, the total cost here is going to equal $125. Okay, and that's 120 125 And now the second clause is saying, while a gym membership with five personal training sessions costs 260 Okay, so that means now I'm going to take the gym membership and add to that now five training sessions. And that's going to equal now 260 and now what they want us to find is they want us to find the cost per session. All right. So what I realize now is I'm going to have to try to now to get rid of these GM and, you know, the word train. I got to try to make these into singular variables. Okay. That'd be helpful. So do we know what the gym membership is? No, we actually don't. Right. So since we don't know what the gym membership is, let me write it over here. Gym membership. Let's say that's going to equal X. Okay. So instead now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the equation, erase GM, and I'm going to write X in both cases. Now, what else don't we know? Well, we don't also know the cost per session, but you might say, well, where is the cost per session? Right? I, I, don't, I don't know. Where is it? Well, let me ask you. How could I make a mathematical expression that breaks down how much two training sessions costs? In other, or... How can I make a math mathematical expression that breaks down how much five training sessions cost? Right? How can I do it? We might say, well, five training sessions, right? Five training sessions would cost five times the amount per session. Oh, right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They wanted me to find the cost per session or the amount per session, right? Cost, maybe I'll use the word cost there just to be consistent. Cost. And wait, how much would this be? Two training sessions, I could, what, what could I write there? That could be two times the cost per session. Right, if it costs $100 for a session and you took two of them, it's 200 bucks. 100 times two, right? If you took five of them, it'd be 100 times five. It'd be 500. So wait a minute. So basically what I'm, so Andrew, what you're, what you're telling me then is I can basically plug this on in for, let's say this, and this thing in for that. And yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. All right. So watch now. So let me just move this maybe over here a little bit. Okay. Let's move this up here. So watch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, so let me move that over there. Okay, Let's, we're just going to move some stuff around a little bit. We'll move this over there. We're going to plug this on in now. So we're going to say, well, okay, I get rid of this. So it's going to be two times the cost per session. And then it's going to be five times the cost per session, right? And those are now equal to these values, right? That's all I'm doing. I'm just doing a little substitutions. Nothing crazy. Now you might say, well, this is a little cumbersome to work with, right? Cost per session. Mm. Why don't we call cost per session Y or something like that, okay? So cost per session is equal to Y, all right? Now what I'm going to do, literally erase cost per session. And I'm going to get rid of the multiplication side because I don't want you to get confused with two X's there, okay? So now it would be just two times that cost per session or five times that cost per session, right? And now notice... You see how now we have two beautiful equations here? We have two beautiful equations, right? We took this and now we got it into a mathematical form that we recognize. That's the whole, that's, that's the practicing part. It's really, really, 
you have to practice a lot of these problems, okay? You have to see them done, see a couple of hints and tricks, right? Uh, but, you know, there's no shortcut for practice. So now, how do I... So what they're asking me is they want me to find then the cost per session, right? They want me to find why. Well, how do I find that? Well, this is where now we have to realize we have a system of equations. You have two equations with two unknowns. You can solve this now. All right. So watch. Let's get rid of this. Okay. And let's let's take this second equation. Let's solve this thing for. Let's solve it for x. Okay. So actually, let me let me do this. Let me break these on up. So one over here, one over here. Okay. So let's solve this equation for x. So it's going to be we have to subtract the five y on over to the left, right? So it's going to be x equals. 260 minus 5y. Now what's nice about this is that I can take this value here, right, the 260 minus 5y. Remember, that's equivalent to x. And this x was the same as that x, right? So essentially what I can do is take this and plug it on into this equation now for x. That's called the, that's, that's the substitution there. This is the system of equations part. So inside of this x now, I'm going to plug in 260, that's 206, 260 minus 5y, okay? Plus now 2y is equal to 125. Now notice, one equation with only one unknown. This is great because we can solve this, right? Now, I don't really need the parentheses here, so I'm just going to get rid of them, okay? And now let's solve for y. Combine your like terms here, right? So it's going to be 260. Uh, minus now 3y is equal to 125. Why don't we now, and I'm going to move this all up, okay? So let's just move this on up, just so I have enough room. Now let's minus the 260 on over to the left. And here let's get now negative 3y is equal to now, let's plug that on into the calculator, so it's 125 minus 260, and we get about negative 135. And now how do we solve for y? Just divide out that negative 3. Divide out that negative 3. And now y will equal 135 divided by 3. It's going to be positive, right? Positive 45. And there is, now what did y represent? <clears throat> y represented the cost per session. What did they ask us? The cost per session. So guess what? We're done. Okay, that is the cost per session. So it almost seems like we can't solve it because you might say, well, I don't know what the gym membership is. But noticing that the gym memberships are the same, and that's another thing too, right? Why is the gym membership the same? Well, I'm assuming it's the same gym. Did they tell me that? Well, no, they didn't, right? They didn't say that it's the same gym. But if it wasn't the same gym, then this would have been X and this would have been like Z. And then it's not solvable. You can't solve it. You need more information, okay? So, so yeah, all right, hard problem. But what you want to do is try, and it's a very good skill to learn, and that's where the practice comes in. You want to try to become very familiar with how to take words and create mathematical expressions out of them. Because you can solve mathematical expressions. You can't solve words. Okay? Words have meaning, though, in math. I mean, you got to think, you know, you got to think in terms of words, but you got to get things down then to algebraic expressions so you can manipulate them and solve. It's just a tool. That's what algebra is. It's simply a tool. It's a tool to help you figure things out. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe. It definitely helps us out tremendously. If you like this video, even hit the like button. And the best way to help if you wanted to help us grow is to really tell your friends, all right? We appreciate it very much. If you found it helpful, I'm sure your friends might also find it helpful too, okay? Uh, and we got a whole bunch of other videos, math, chem, physics. All right, so thank you so much. Take care.